Hi, it's Dave of Urban Astro, and it's been a while since we've had a video, and it's my apologies. Uh, life kind of got in the way, in a good way. Uh, nothing bad has happened. Uh, my daughter, who had been living with us since the pandemic, has finally moved out, and so that freed up some space in the house, and so we basically rearranged rooms and I moved my office down to the back and I repainted a bunch of rooms and so it's been a lot of that kind of stuff. Uh, I have a lot of stuff and so moving, in fact, I'm still moving stuff into my new office from my old office and yeah. And then of course, as you probably know, at least some of you also do YouTube videos, you know that once you're out of your routine of doing videos on a pretty frequent basis, it's really kind of hard sometimes to get back into the swing of things. And so I have found that this past month, it's like I keep telling myself I need to work on some videos. I need to let people know that I'm still alive. And well, that hasn't happened. And so finally, after about a month of thinking about it and toying with it, here I am, and I am going to start producing videos again. Now, it hasn't been a total lights out for two months. Um, for those of you who may not know, I am also a landscape photographer. In fact, I do art shows and I sell my landscape photography at a number of different art shows in the Arizona area. And so, I hadn't had the opportunity to do much landscape photography due to the pandemic and then I picked up astrophotography and so I'm trying to find that balance between doing astrophotography and landscape photography. And so the past month and a half I've actually taken several different landscape photography trips. This past weekend I was in New Mexico and I went to Bisti Badlands, which I've been to a number of times. It's a really alien landscape and caught a beautiful uh, sunset. And so I'll be working on those images. Also went to uh, Chaco Canyon where there's a whole collection of different Pueblos, uh, religious sites, really massive and took some really interesting and I hopefully um, good photographs there and I've also been to Joshua Tree National Park in California and took some pictures there and so I've been doing more landscape photography stuff and part of the reason has been is that I really haven't had a nighttime session with my astrophotography gear since February. It's either been cloudy, rainy, or windy. And it just seems that it's just been really miserable conditions for the past couple months. So basically March was a wash and April has been a wash. I basically haven't been able to do much of anything. And so because of that, um, I focused on landscape stuff. I'm gonna be getting back into back into Astro because I have a couple of projects scheduled for this summer. The first project that I'm going to mention is that I'm going to build myself an observatory. And I, I've been debating in my head between a one-peer observatory and a two-peer observatory. I would like to be able to have a roll-off roof where I would have two scopes set up with two peers and I'm debating in my head if I want to go through that, um, if I want to basically do that or if I want to stick with a one pair. I've got really good plans right now for a one pair and they seem doable and you can automate it. And so I'm thinking of that, but I'm also thinking of a two pair. I would not have a warm room or anything like that because it is in my backyard and it doesn't really get that cold here. I mean, it will get down to around freezing at night, but again, the house is like right here and 
the wireless is really good so I don't see a need to build a warm room so it really would be just an observatory with a roll-off roof. Uh, there might be a little bit of extra space for storage but I haven't determined that just yet. So uh, that's one project. The second project is I've got myself a new six inch Newtonian, a Skywatcher uh, 150P. I wanted a fast scope in the 600 millimeter range and it's an F4 600 millimeter native. Uh, I do have a coma corrector that will allow me to keep it at 600 because the coma corrector that came with the scope actually steps it down. It's actually a reducer. I think it's a 0.9 or 0.8 reducer. I have to go back and take a look. But basically it takes it from 600 millimeter down to 518. And I think it takes it from F4 down to like 3.8. So I've been working on putting that thing together I've done a bunch of upgrades. I had actually recorded those upgrades because they were going to be videos. And when I went to go to download all those different videos that I had done, because I had flocked the inside, I had replaced um, the spider veins, and I had uh, put on a mirror mask, and um, yeah, things of that particular nature. The memory card was corrupted, <laughs> and so I don't have videos of me doing that stuff. So anyways, I'll just talk about those updates, and I'll just show you what the updates look like, but I'm not going to be able to show you doing the updates and walking you through them, because while well, that, that ship has sailed. But I'm working on that 6-inch scope because the summer I'm planning on spending more time up north where it's cooler at night. So those are the two big things that I'm going to be working on. And then there's a third big thing I'm going to be working on, and that is I started a series on Nina, and I'm going to finish up that series on Nina. And so now that they've released 3.0, um, I can go ahead and finish up the series. I had been working on release candidate um, 2 and 3. I think the series started out with release candidate one, or it may have been beta 29, or uh, it was somewhere back at that point in time. But again, the look and the feel hasn't changed. The functionality hasn't changed. Going from beta to release candidate just meant that they were just troubleshooting bugs, but the functionality and the look and feel hasn't changed at all. And so, I will be continuing that particular series and we'll continue to put out videos on how to set up Nina. So those are my plans and so um, thank you for your patience and thank you for, um, for your support and stay tuned for more videos that are coming and until next time, clear skies and happy guiding.